I did not get a new dog. This is my awesome assistant, Callie's dog. It's Nut. He's so cute. Say hi. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my everyday 10-minute makeup routine. A lot of you guys have asked me to do an updated one. We're just going to sit down, chit-chat. There's cars outside, and uh, we're just going to do a little video. So this is basically the makeup that I do every morning before I head out to class. Um, or honestly, just even if I'm going out, let's be real. I'm quite lazy when it comes to makeup. I'm pretty weird about it. Well, I've got my fun little makeup bag here. Go KD, baby. I'm wearing a sweater to pretend it's fall. I mean, I guess technically it's fall. I will have all the products that I used linked down below for you guys to check it out. These are like my favorite products, my everyday products that I do in the morning when I'm getting ready to go to class or if I'm running errands or honestly whatever. It's just like a 10 minute makeup routine and yeah, let's get started. So I already moisturized and everything. I think I want to do an updated skincare routine where I show you guys the products I've been using because I've been really enjoying the products and it's just been, I've been really into skincare lately even though I'm breaking out, so why, why bother? I really hope the lighting doesn't change. Love a good daylight. So the first thing I use is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. This is actually something that when I was at Sephora, the employee was trying to get me to buy and I was just like, ugh, like I'm just here to buy something else, like less than all that. But she put it on my hand and showed me and then I just became obsessed and this is my second one or maybe my third now. Really a big fan, so this is a great primer. I don't want to say it's like tinted, but like it kind of is. It's, it reminds me of the Benefit Professional Primer if you guys ever used to use that. I love it. It has like a little bit of a tan color to it and when you put it on your face, it just instantly blurs everything and I love that about it. It's seriously, oh, it smells so good. I think she said it has like tea tree oil in it, so it's actually good for your skin as well as just priming it, so I'm here for that, right? I love starting my morning with this because it just smells good and it's just prepping your skin for just some good makeups. Good makeups, that makes sense. Lately I've been breaking out, which I'm ever so grateful for. Thank you, stress, love ya. Um, but I've just been concealing before I put on like my face makeup just to kind of help start the concealing, if that makes sense. This isn't my favorite concealer by any means, it's just what I have in my in my kitchen. I, am I okay? Um, in my bathroom. But if you guys have a favorite concealer to conceal um, blemishes in particular, comment down below, I wanna know. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I literally just like have it, don't even know if it like really works. <laughs> I really hope my skin clears up soon though, cause it's kind of freaking me out. Cause I don't always wear makeup to class, but lately I have been purely because of the acne. Yo, I hate that word. I don't like the word acne. Um, but I also put it around my nose just to kind of like take away any redness and like on my chin right here. I don't know. It's just fun. You know, it's like painting your face, right? No. Nope. Let me go with that. Are you one of those? I mean, I mean I'm not letting you use a dry machine. <laughs> She's not letting me use a dry beauty blender. I'm so disturbed. Do you really wet yours every time? Yes! I've never used a dry one in my life. <laughs> Gosh, now I'm like stressed. Well, everybody, my beauty blender is currently getting wetted. Ew, that's really weird. Oh, okay, wow. Feels nice and bouncy. Thank you, Callie. Uh, so then I wet my beauty blender, which I never do, but maybe I'll start doing. Also, it's really weird. Like, my face is way paler than my body, but I didn't even get a spray tan. I know I always say that. I can't stop saying that. I'm just really proud of myself actually tanning in the sun but I never like to tan my face because then you know when like your face gets sunburned that's just not cute you know during the day honestly at night too I've been using the it cosmetics your skin but better CC cream um, I absolutely love it I have it in the color light and it looks amazing it seriously gives your skin this awesome glow um, and it does have SPF in it but I don't really notice like super bad with flash or anything but if I am going out at night, I do prefer to use the Fenty Beauty foundation. I like this one a lot. Um, I've just been really into something lighter, which is the CC cream. Um, and a lot of my friends use it and love it as well. It just instantly makes my face look actually like a little bit not deathly, you know? I'm just gonna blend to the neck. Oh, I really don't like doing my makeup in pure sunlight. I'm used to doing it in my bathroom where it's like not really good lighting. Everyone makes mistakes. Everybody, why am I singing that song? I'm in the weirdest mood, you guys. Also, um, I've been really into listening to podcasts, as you guys know, and if you don't know, I have my own podcast, um, Gals on the Go with Brooke Michio. It's a good time, um, but I've been listening to way too many podcasts that I'm almost out. So comment down below your favorite podcast to listen to. Um, 
I, I don't know, just more like, I, I want more. I'm really into like fashion lifestyle ones right now or just like, like I just started listening to Optimal Daily Living. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what I was doing. I'm so sorry. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. If you guys have been following me for even just a couple months, you probably know what that product is. It is simply my favorite under eye concealer. I used to bake. Do you guys remember when baking was like a thing? Did you ever bake? Yeah. Yeah. I still do. You still do? Okay. Well, it stopped like, it just was starting to look too, I don't know, I just got lazy, I think. Don't you hate when you have like a blemish and it just still doesn't get covered? Because that's how I'm feeling right now. Now I'm going to use a powder to set and I'm using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Airbrush Perfecting Powder. I just got this. I went to Ulta the other day. Ulta is so fun. I really have fun when I go into Ulta or Sephora. It's just a good time. You know, you walk in, you get one thing, and it's like, oh, I'm coming out with five things. So this is like the this is like the powder version of this, I guess, but I definitely use both. Um, and usually I use a brush, but my brush is being kind of weird right now. So I'm just gonna use this guy to just like set it. Alright, the makeup is set. I love that feeling of like setting your foundation or CC cream with powder. It's just like, ah, voila. Now we're gonna use my favorite thing ever right now. I'm like obsessed with this palette. Usually I'm not a big palette girl. I just like to have like little, but this, this is life changing. This is the Becca Be A Light um, palette. I love it so, so much. This is the blur powder. This is the brightening powder. This is the bronzer and this is the blush. However, I'm pretty fair toned. So I use the brightening powder kind of just like as like a nice light bronzer. And then I'll use the bronzer as like a contour for my nose. And this I'll just like put over my face sometimes just to kind of brighten it. But I'm just gonna take this little angled brush right here and take the brightening powder. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. And just kind of like put it along my cheekbones. Um, just because, I don't know, I'm not good at bronzer, so. And then I just blend to the neck. Very important, because I'm a big ponytail girl. And like halfway through the day, I'll put my hair in a ponytail and be like, oh, that's a nice foundation line. Love that, love to see it. So I try to remember to do this. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm like, we all wear makeup, let's be real. And sometimes you're just gonna have a foundation line and that's okay, because we're all just people living in this world. Then I'm gonna take the blush in this palette. I really, really like it. It's like a glowy pinky color. And I just smile, find the apples of your cheeks. <laughs> all to to like OG YouTube. So then I take this brush, it's like two-sided, and one of them's an angled brush, and I'm gonna go back in and just kind of lightly contour my nose. I just basically take it and I apply it on both sides just so it kind of like gives it a shadowy effect so your nose looks smaller. I'm not really like necessarily self-conscious of my nose, but I don't mind doing that. Also, I'm just gonna blend back out that blush. Again, I'll have all the products linked down below for you guys to check out. These are my favorites. As for highlight, I'm using the Becca Opal Highlight. This is like the mini size, but honestly, I use this every day and it still hasn't run out. So when you're in the Sephora travel section, just get it. And I'm taking this highlighting side and I'm just applying along my cheekbones. And I've been really into applying it to the end of my nose and above my cupid's bow. So yeah. Yeah, don't buy the big one. Yeah, don't buy the big because one. It's they weird. break. You're so right. My big ones have always broken and I think that's yes. why I got this because I was like, I wanna spend more money. As for brows, I switched between doing just like a like a tinted brow gel and like a pencil. But today I'm just kind of in the mood to have more of a wispy brow look. So I'm using the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, it's pretty good, I don't really mind it. I usually like to use a pencil, but today, um, usually when I'm more in a rush, I'm gonna do this, so. And this really does take me 10 minutes. Obviously this video might be longer just because I'm talking and stuff, but yeah. So this is great. It's like an all-in-one gel and everything and it just gives it a nice tint. I like it a lot. It's nice. I need to get my eyebrows done this week ASAP Rocky. All right, so I'm not really one to wear eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I low-key, high-key really miss my eyelash extensions lately. For a while, I was kind of liking not having them, but lately I just miss them because I hate when mascara just gets under your eyes, you know? But everyone and their mother is like, you look so much better without them, but I don't know. So now I'm using this L'Oreal um, Lash Primer. I do find that it actually helps. Um, like, I find if I don't use it and just put on the mascara, it really does make a difference. Think of just it as a, well, a lash primer. So I just put that on, and then the mascara I'm using, it's so funny. Since I had lash extensions for so long, I like forgot what mascaras I liked and everything. And I just remembered, even in middle school and beginning of high school, I just loved the Maybelline Falsies mascara. It's just been a favorite of mine. I really haven't branched out. 
Um, and I get the waterproof one just because I don't like when it smears, but then it also is harder to take off, but I just risk it. It does what I need it to do. Also guys, for real, my lashes grew because I used the Babe Lash stuff. It really helped, it really helped. And then I'm just gonna use this Neutrogena Hydro Bro <laughs> Then I'm gonna use this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. Um, it's just like a fun little color here. And yeah, that's kind of the, I don't really wear lip color to like class, but if I am on the go, a gal on the go. Um, self promo gals on the go. I always have my podcast link down below for you guys to check out. That is my everyday makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, I definitely will. Um, I don't do a lot of makeup videos just because I want to leave that for the for the makeup queens of YouTube, but if you guys do want to see what products I use, or I want to do more like favorites videos, I want to do like my favorite self-care products video, I, I have a lot of things that I want to do. I want to start filming more sit-down videos because I know my channel's turned into a big vlog channel, which is really fun and I know that's what you guys really like, but I do enjoy just sitting down and talking about things, so I hope you guys enjoy this more chill style video. Leave down below your video requests, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.